Since the repeal of New Hampshire's state minimum wage in 2011, the debate over the issue in Concord has been fierce. But at Hermit Woods Winery in Meredith, they've sidestepped politics and raised minimum pay for employees on their own to $15 an hour. That I think it's a good investment to invest well in your employees. I think that's, that's a very meaningful way to grow your business. This month, Hermit Woods instituted a 3.5 percent sales surcharge to help fund the pay raise. So far, no complaints, especially not from the workers. It's going to be a huge difference between sort of just being able to scrape by and being able to put a little bit of money away. But when it comes to public policy, things get complicated. For starters, even though federal law sets the minimum wage at $7.25 an hour, the New Hampshire Lodging and Restaurant Association says many entry-level jobs are already paying more. Most of the folks we talk to, you know, you can't hire a dishwasher who's usually one of the lower paid employees for less than $10, 11 $12 an hour. That's the starting rate now. Senator Donna Susi of Manchester says thousands of minimum wage earners are still out there. Nearly 60 percent of them are women trying to um, raise a family and in many cases they have two and in some cases three jobs um, and, and they're forced to uh, spend a lot of time away from their families in order to make ends meet. For the last four years, Senator Susi has unsuccessfully tried to get them a raise. Her most recent proposal would have instituted a New Hampshire minimum wage of $12 an hour. Someone working 40 hours a week on $7.25 an hour can't even make ends meet and actually ends up qualifying for public services in many instances. On the other side of the issue, Charlie Arlinghouse of the Josiah Bartlett Center for Public Policy says the economics are simple. If the minimum wage is raised by mandate, it will lead to more automation and fewer entry-level jobs. A large increase in the minimum wage would lead to um, <clears throat> an employer hiring fewer people. You've raised the price of something, you're going to have less of it. Arlinghouse says minimum wage exists as a starting point. An expanded opportunity will usher workers into bigger paydays. The economic pressure of a dynamic economy is what drives wages up, not legislative action. In addition to increasing prices, opponents contend a major minimum wage increase could put some local entrepreneurs out of business. I've actually received phone calls from a couple of very small businesses, you know, mom and pop operations that have said that, hey, if minimum wage goes up to those levels that you mentioned, um, they would literally just retire and close the doors. The debate will continue. Meantime, Hermit Woods has plans to double in size and will eventually be hiring, starting at $15 an hour. We've, uh, we've had several people through email and through the phone uh, call and express interest. If there's a job opening, they'd, they'd like to work here. So. Employees say the value they feel reflected in their wages comes through in their work. If you're appreciated, you do the, you go the extra mile to make sure that you're doing all you can for them because they're doing all they can for you. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.